welcome back to a Hey Mishka holiday. Today we're making Christmas crafts out of champagne corks. You'll need some acrylic paints and brushes, decorative notions, and of course, corks. If you've been wondering what to do with all those corks laying around your house, this is it. Grab your glue sticks and let's turn these corks into something cute. For the first project, we'll be gluing two corks together using a hot glue gun. And then we'll glue that to another cork, and another, and another, until we achieve a triangular shape. What are we making? If you guessed a cork tree, you're right. Once it's the size you want, decorate it with some cute ribbon. I wrapped mine around the outside because it sort of looks like the corks are being held in place like stacked up firewood and I just think that's cute. You can also add little jingle bells to give it an extra festive look. And there you have it, a centerpiece that says, Merry Christmas, I'm a wino. For the next project, we'll be gluing corks too tall. Choose a festive paint palette and paint your corks whatever color you please, varying the top and bottom. Then paint on a face, and they will kind of look like those little guys from that game Imposter that I've never played. Once they're dry, practice painting a nutcracker style face on scrap paper until you have something you like. I referenced classic German nutcrackers, but there are so many designs out there. Just Google and you'll find some fun ones. Paint the faces onto your corks, letting the layers dry completely between each step. When the face is drying, you can paint the body. Again, I mimicked a classic Nutcracker style jacket. I used pom-poms as little beards since they usually tend to have one. To make the crowns, I cut some glitter paper and clipped it into shape. I added more pom-poms and little silver ribbons to make them extra festive. These little guys can be turned into ornaments or just placed wherever. For the next project, we'll cut a line into the top of three corks. I had to use an X-Acto knife and a small scissor to sort of dig out the groove, but with a really sharp X-Acto knife, you should be able to just do this with the knife. You want it to be deep enough to hold a little place card, so by the way, you'll also need place cards for this one. 
Paint each cork a holiday hue of your choice. I chose red, green, and white. Then with acrylic and puff paint, we'll decorate three cards with holiday designs, leaving some space in the middle where you will write the name of the person. Place a card inside the top of each of these before you paint the face because it may tilt to one side or the other, so paint the face on the side that showcases the place card in the best light. I painted a Santa, a snowman, and a little Christmas tree. Now the tree is questionable, but I like how the others came out. By the way, puff paint works really great for 3D elements like Santa's beard. I also used it to add arms to the snowman before realizing most snowmen don't have arms. Instead, I brought out a ribbon and gave our snowman a little scarf. And there you have it, cute place cards to put on the table during holiday dinners. For the next project, we'll start by practice painting woodland animals on paper. Then we'll transfer the designs to the corks. After painting the first coat, I added gold pins for ornament hooks so I didn't mess up the face if I tried to add it later. I painted a fox, a deer, and an owl. Take your time with these, and if you make a few mistakes, I definitely did, just paint over it and start again. I think these came out super cute and will look adorable on the tree, especially if you have a rustic holiday theme. I will show you another mushroom project shortly, but I also painted two little mushrooms and turned them into ornaments to go with the whole woodland vibe. Thank you. 
Up next, the quickest and easiest of these projects, this one makes a really good gift. Buy some cheese knife hardware on Etsy or any site that you want. Dig the hardware into the flat end of the cork to create sort of a groove. And then insert the hardware like I'm doing here. You have just created an instant cheese knife. <laughs> Now all you have to do is paint the corks like cute little mushrooms and wait for them to dry. I think a set of these given with some artisan cheese would be a lovely thing to open. And there you have it my friends, a plethora of jolly gifts that you can create after popping a bottle of bubbly this evening. By the way, if you're going to be handling these frequently, I suggest coating them with Mod Podge, which will sort of seal the paint in and prevent chips. Especially the cheese knives, I think those could do with a coat of Mod Podge. And again, you can buy corks on Etsy to avoid having to wait until you've consumed all of this champagne to make these. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stick around for more holiday fun this week. Until next time, cheers! Bye.